Welcome, everybody. My name is uh, Chris Wynn. Uh, I'm the director of MRI Research and HPTI. And joining me is... Uh, hello, my name is Debbie Kwan, and I'm the, a cardiologist, and I'm the director of cardiac MRI here at the Cleveland Clinic. And we're super excited to be able to talk to you a little bit about what is cardiac MRI and how it can be helpful to your health. So I guess the first question that some patients may ask is, what is a cardiac MRI and what does it show? Yeah, so that's a really great question. It's a very boutique type of scan that we do at the clinic and very special. Um, most people know about an MRI is this giant sort of magnet that sort of takes these very detailed pictures of your body. A cardiac MRI just means it's an MRI of your heart. Uh, and we get to be able to peek into your heart without having to cut you open or anything. And it doesn't hurt at all. Um, it uses the uh, water molecules or the, the water that's in your body very naturally to be able to make these wonderful images. And it sort of makes a little bit of a lot of sound, but because of that, uh, we should be able to have within, you know, less than an hour, a fantastic image, very detailed of your heart and uh, shows uh, the different uh, anatomy of your heart. So, you know, the different chambers or different rooms in your heart. It also shows you the blood and how it swirls around. And uh, clinicians like Debbie and her team uh, uses it to be able to do diagnoses, prognosis, or to, you know, how are you going to do better over time? And maybe you could talk more about, you know, how it's used in the, the care of patients, Debbie. Yeah, so cardiac MRI, obviously I'm biased because I love this modality, but I think it's the most um, comprehensive imaging modality to uh, diagnose your disease. So a lot of patients who have um, symptoms of chest pain or shortness of breath, and it's not really clear what is the cause of their um, myocardial dysfunction or the reason why their heart isn't working properly. And the cardiac MRI gives us gold standard um, evaluation of your heart in the sense that it gives you very precise pictures of how your heart is moving and how it's functioning. And it also allows us to see exactly what's going on with the tissue uh, of, of your heart, if it's scarred, if there's inflammation. And a lot of these things gives us an idea for how best to treat your heart with the different types of medications that we have, or if you need surgery to look at your valves if they're not functioning well. And so um, cardiac MRI is very, very useful because as Chris said, we don't have to open up your, your body physically to look at how the heart is um, functioning. We can actually do it non-invasively and get a really good detailed uh, picture of what's going on. Right, and I think Debbie makes a really good point, and I want everyone to, to know about it, is that MRI has expanded into to not just looking at the how you, the shape of your heart is or how thick your wall is or how much blood, but going back to that tissue characterization, that means how does our tissue have different types of disease processes? We can see that like a map. We can see how much there are, you know, sort of uh, these plaques that form in your heart or potentially how much scar, just like the, the scar on your knee when you fall down, we can see that difference in change. This is drastically different than the other imaging modalities we have. We can identify what parts and what areas of the heart actually are damaged under what sort of a uh, disease process. And from there, we can decide what medication you need, what type of surgery you need. It really is sort of new sci-fi type of work and, and, and very, very interesting. And the clinic has sort of um, I guess in some ways I came new. I'm a little bit new to all of this, to the Cleveland area, but I, that's what attracted me to come to the clinic in my recruitment. So I really want to expand a lot of these technologies you have, but apply them to the patient and bring them to the forefront so that we can benefit um, from day in, day out. Yeah, and that's a perfect segue. Um, Chris, maybe you can talk about all the really exciting development that's going on, techni technically speaking, in Kari Gamar and how we can be applying this to our patients. Yeah, absolutely. So I think... The most interesting thing is that as, as amazing that cardiac MRI is, uh, MRI is actually still very slow. I think probably those that have gotten an MRI before for like maybe a knee surgery or for a brain, they tell you don't move. And unfortunately, you can't do that to the heart. You can't stop the heart, you know? And so uh, what we normally do to do that is we sort of track your heart rhythm and we ask you to hold your breath. And both of those things can be very difficult when you have heart disease. You know, your heart might be a little bit uh, 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 and, and sort of arrhythmia is what they call it, or irregular in its heartbeat. And all, all, honestly, it's really hard to hold your breath even when, for me, in, in sitting here. So the, the future is gonna hold in our next generation scans and working closely with clinicians here is to develop a new scan that is under what we call free breathing conditions. And, and, and actually the way we phrase it is we want you to take a nap and just relax in the scanner. You don't have to hold your breath 50 to 100 times. You can just lay back and relax. And 
you know, when does the doctor tell you close your eyes and sleep? And then afterwards you get all these wonderful information about that. Speaking of information, I think the interesting thing is that, um, you know, what the Debbie has been working on as well as others is to use all this wealth of information to do machine learning or artificial intelligence, to go dig deeper. As we talked about with sort of tissue characterization, I think it's so important to realize that there is so much more information to learn more about you, the individual, to personalize it to you. And uh, what we've been expanding into is also into sort of digital twins, been able to expand into this sort of um, AI predictability and inferencing. So it's not just replacing doctor, but to enhance the doctor's skills, to find the d disease earlier. And I think that's so important. And the last thing that we've been sort of building upon between our two groups have been so, to um, look at more of this tissue characterization deeper. So we've been able to, even though the resolution of MRI is about, let's say about a millimeter, so you know about the size of your pinky uh, fingernail, is that we can get even smaller to about the, the level of about a couple of hundred cells, uh, what we call hundreds of microns. And so what does that mean? It means we can see the cracks in the building before they form. We can see the, the warning signs much before that they actually get worse. And that means that our treatments are more effective, easier to, to, to be used and utilized, and uh, be able to uh, be pioneering and being able to, to deliver the treatment sooner and better and faster. So. Yeah, this is really an exciting space. And I think one of the things that we're so excited about um, Christopher and his team um, coming to the Cleveland Clinic is that now we can actually have the ability to use some of these novel uh, technical imaging uh, techniques to our patients in the clinic. So we would give you your standard of care cardiac MRR um, that gives you all of the bread and butter types of things that you typically typically get in any other um, hospital setting or outpatient setting where you would get a cardiac MRR. But here at the Cleveland Clinic, now that we have Chris's phenomenal uh, expertise here, we would also apply some of these new novel techniques to see how this can augment our care. And we really hope that we can get to the vision of having personalized uh, medicine so that when a Correct. patient ind individually comes with their very specific um, issues uh, and their other surrounding things that are also playing a role in their health, that we can give a very specific prescribed treatment plan for that patient. Um, and we can have an, a good estimation of how they will respond to uh, our treatment. So we're really excited about this, uh, um, the future and how we can combine um, science and technology with our uh, amazing healthcare that we um, are able to deliver here at the Cleveland Clinic. Yeah. And we are just really ex excited to see how things evolve. Yeah. I'm excited too. And we have a <laughs> bunch of young engineers and scientists that are working closely with doctors like Debbie Kwan and others. And uh, we've, we've worked uh, very hard to bring them over here they're very young and vibrant and they're just across the street. So it means that we work closely with your team and we're excited to be here and excited to bring some of these technologies to, to our patients as soon as possible. That's the main reason why I came here is that I'm so impressed by Cleveland Clinic willing to put the patient first and willing to move technologies closer to the patient. And I think that's what cardiac MRI at the clinic is all about, I would say. Thanks so much for your thank, time. Thank you so much for your time.